to Sam and Gail and all the members of the Citizen Steering Committee, I'd like to uh, thank them for their efforts to inform and educate our community about this tax. This morning, I want to take just a few moments to talk about how SPLOSS has benefited the cities as well as the County of Lowndes since its inception. Since 1987, Lowndes County and all of our cities have benefited greatly from the Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax. Most importantly, our citizens have benefited from this tax. Many of the projects that have been accomplished had to be done. The question was how to best pay for them. Building roads, water and sewer facilities, fire stations, parks, crime lab, many other worthwhile projects have improved the services available to and the quality of life for the citizens of this community. And the projects have made our community an attractive place not only to existing businesses, but to new business and new industry. And I'd like to take just a couple of moments to mention a few projects that have been accomplished by each of the governments. The City of Dasher, the City Hall with an attached bay for a fire truck, a community center, a park that includes playground equipment and shelters with picnic tables, a custom walking track complete with rubberized padding, and the restoration of an old building which now serves as Dasher's Museum. The City of Remington, Road streets and bridge improvements to include SPLOSS matching funds for the DOT grant to lengthen the Isaiah Trail to Bay Tree Road, sidewalks on Bay Tree Place and sidewalk connection between Plum Street and Bay Tree Place, a very heavily traveled area. Water and sewer improvements such as looping all the fire line, uh, water lines that connected all of the water lines in the city, and an eon exchange system which removes impurities from drinking water, and a new park at Bay Tree and Melody Lane that is currently in progress. City of Hayhara, Hall Street and drainage improvements corrected significant drainage problems on a high traffic city street, allowing access to a 120 home subdivision. Wireless meter conversion upgraded all 1,200 meters in the city to emit wireless transmissions, reducing the margin of error and employee response time for readings, thus saving the taxpayers money. Many old meters were also replaced, improving a more accurate data for customers and also the renovation of City Hall, the Fire Department, and the EMS facilities in Lake Power. Lake Park, video cameras to assist police officers and allow municipal court and related institutions to verify and support officers' testimonies. Also supports the officers and help the city protect the citizens, its businesses, and their property. New police department computers have provided instant information and data on stolen vehicles, registration, outstanding warrants, or warrant, warrant, wanted persons from other jurisdictions, and it also enhanced public safety cooperation, reducing paperwork and providing cost savings. And computer software in the city clerk's office resulting in more efficient accounting, billing, budgeting, and financial reporting. Lowndes County. $1.5 million for fire protection to include new fire stations on Bemis Road and in Flatville, as well as a new dr drill field that will help the Lowndes County Fire Rescue meet training requirements without spending the funds required to send firefighters out of town. $2.7 million for an emergency operations center to provide one location for all local governments and agencies to work together during a response to a local disaster or emergency. And $24 million for a new jail. Parts of Lowndes County's old jail were built in the 50s. The new jail to include housing, booking, visitation, medical, kitchen facilities, and laundry was built for future growth, minimizes liability, and was built at no cost to property taxpayers. Valdosta, SWAS funded a much new needed water treatment plant with 15 million gallons of capacity and seven wells as a site for the best water in Lowndes County. 15 million of the $23 million project was funded with SWAS funds. Construction of that facility was mandatory to meet high, the high drinking water, to provide high drinking water quality to residents and for business and industry. Three new fire stations, uh, along with the renovation of two existing stations, along with the purchase of six fire trucks. As a result, the city's ISO rating was lowered from a Class 3 ISO to a Class 2, with homeowners and business owners in the city therefore received reduced insurance premiums. Also, SPLOSS funds were used to improve the former two-lane Norman Drive to a five-lane road it is today, complete with sidewalks and storm drainage infrastructure. This project served as a catalyst for economic development along this corridor. Since the project was completed, Walmart, Sam's, the Rainwater Conference Center, Gander Mountain's first Georgia store, Academy Sports Plus Outdoors, which opened today, and more have all located on this major commercial and retail corridor. In addition to those are other quality of life projects like Downtown Streetscape, the Regional Crime Lab, 
and several community centers and park renovations. So as you see, SPLUS has been crucial to improving the quality of life in each of the five cities as well as the county and for the benefit of all the citizens of our community. Thank you.